everyone you are welcome back to the afro food diary my name is geraldine uh this morning i was about to make the last pack in my house and i remembered uh i promised i was going to teach us two ways to make a, to achieve a, the right consistency when you're making pack i had actually gone live on the 17th of may to make this and i actually filmed and they went live finished uh, filming everything only to discover that the 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 video didn't go up it was really 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 painful but yeah so i will do it now via this video okay we wouldn't go live again just so as to just so as to so as to ensure that what happened before would not happen again so what you want to do when you're making pap is to have your of course you will have your pap which i have in here and then you need a bowl like this you need a round uh bowl a round deep bowl like this yeah so let me compare what i mean this is another type of bowl i have in my house and you can see let me you can see this one is quite shallow somebody like me i can achieve pap in this but if you are struggling to achieve uh, the right consistency for your pap then you don't want to use something this shallow okay it's better to use something uh, deep and uh, something deep and round like what i have here like what i have here that's rule number one rule number two is to ensure that the quantity of pulp you're making is actually going to be contained inside the bowl you're using the, is that uh, like does that make sense be sure that the pap you have in your bowl is not going to overflow when you make it in this bowl okay because that's another thing that makes you get the wrong consistency because when you're pouring in your water and the pap um and the pap overflows you are forced to stop pouring water right and then maybe the pap is not properly cooked or yeah just you just end up with the wrong result basically so ensure that you have the right amount it's better to have a too uh, it's better that the bowl is too big for the pap than to be too small okay so that's what i will try to achieve now why putting the pap into the the plates so i have about one full scoop of this in here and in here so for me this is like the last pap in my house so i can uh, so I added about another half spoon of this. And another half spoon to this one, okay? Yeah. So I still have a tiny little bit left in here, but let's uh, mix it first and I'll weigh the size before we continue. So the next very vital stage in making pap is when you actually start to melt it with water, okay? Remember, it's thick like this. So, and we want to melt it down, like to achieve a homogeneous uh, mixture, kind of. So we'll start gradually to add water to this pap. So you will notice that one tablespoon of water got it down like this, which is still very thick. I'll add a little bit more. So the key is to go gradually. If you pour in everything at once, then you end up with a watery pop. So you see this, we use this one to demonstrate. You see this one? It's okay, but it's still uh, very thick. I don't know if you can see that. It's running, but it's quite uh, heavy. It's quite heavy. Can you see? It's quite heavy. So we're going to add a tiny little bit more water, maybe half a tablespoon. Okay. 
so it looks like we have what we need now look at that so can you feel it you can see that the thickness of the uh, the the fluid still covers our spoon the spoon do does not run run out clean you see you see okay yeah it's flowing but our spoon does not come out clean so this is it for for this part I'll do same for this one and it will be the uh, the actual making stage okay did here if by any chance you uh, pour in too much water into any when you're mixing all you need to do is take a little bit more pop a little bit more pop and then add to bring it back to the right uh, thickness okay that's like before you make the pop in. So at this point, we are done mixing. I will be turning off uh, my uh, kettle now to boil. Okay. Meanwhile, in making pap, there is something you can do. Some people add their sugar to this, like mixing their sugar now before making the pap. I do that some time too. Yeah, but since you are learning to do this it's better to make it plain so you have you wouldn't have the sugar to blend if it doesn't come out uh, the way you plan it okay yeah you can actually add your sugar right now mix everything before making your pack that's like a twist i do that sometimes but we're going to skip to the plain pack okay just for the lesson purposes So my water has boiled but it took at least 30 seconds to one minute for the kettle to come to a boil so no matter how long it takes your water to boil the ideal thing is that as soon as it boils again you go back and stir it because probably it had a, some of them had a settled at the base okay so make sure that as soon as your water boils before you pour in the hot water be sure to go back and stir this again okay okay i've been talking for another 20 seconds 30 minutes 30 seconds so let me go back and turn my kettle again to start boiling while i stir this you heard that my water has boiled again but I need to talk to you so that the sound from the kettle will not interfere. The first method we are going to take is the standard method that most of us know. But now see, somebody like me for instance, my left hand does not do, is not as active as my right hand. I don't know if uh, that is, uh, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, uh, hold on. My, this is my left hand and my right hand, okay? I do most of my cooking stuff, I'm not a lefty. In other words, like my left hand is not as active as my right hand. So what it means that if I'm turning this with my left hand, for instance, I will not be turning it as well as I would do if I were to be turning it with my right hand, okay? So that is why this method is not the best for me. It does not really work so much for me. But because this pap I'm making is very small, I can manage to do that method, okay? So what we're going to do now is that we're going to gradually stir this as I pour in the hot water, okay? I hope it turns out well. 
let me boil the water again while I stir. So, and because my left hand is not that active, I will do the stirring with my right hand, please. Yeah, I feel more comfortable doing this with my right hand, so it's doable, okay? Good morning. The water has boiled and I'm stirring, so I'll go in with the water now. Perfect. So when you are pouring in your water, you will watch the face of your pap. It will turn from plain white to something creamier. Can you compare the surfaces of these two? So it's called coagulation in, uh, in science. They call it coagulation. So you will definitely notice the surface of the pap changing and becoming thicker even as you're staring with your hand you will notice some kind of resistance it wouldn't be so fluidy again so that is how you achieve this particular method so find out which of your hands you feel more comfortable with turning this okay and use the, that hand you are, that you are more comfortable with to do the turning while you use the other one to pour in the hot water okay be sure that the water is boiling so you see this one turned out beautiful no lumps okay what happens is that if you're using a hand you're not comfortable in turning it and you're pouring in the hot water your the way you are you're you're stirring it will also make it to form some lumps okay so so find a hand that you're comfortable with while doing this so that's it for this one it's ready it's ready and we'll move ahead with the other one remember we're going to Turn on the kettle once again to boil. We stir this before we make it. Okay, guys. So for this one now, I've uh, brought another clean spoon because you need your clean spoon. Okay. So and this is it. It has a uh, settled as you can see. So I need to stir it very well. Stir it very well and then quickly turn on the turn on the kettle here to start cooking to start boiling again. So while I stay, now this is what I do for this method. After I'm done stirring, after I'm done stirring it very well, the water has boiled again. So after I'm done stirring it very well, I take away my spoon. Remember, my right hand is more powerful than the left one. So I carry my kettle, just uh, quickly rinse this off, bam, bam, and I rotate as I pour in the water, rotate, and watch the surface of the pump coagulate. Perfect. So as you pour in the water, as you pour in the water, you circulate your hand, like you turn your hand around so that no part of the pump is left out. This is like the easiest method for me because I told us my left hand is not so active. <laughs> Yeah, so the easiest method for me is to pour in my water and just rotate my hand all around until until I feel the pap come together. Okay, so this is not the kind of food you are making. Can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? Perfectly creamy, no lumps, no lumps, no lumps. Okay, so. When you're making pap, you have to do it with like your senses intact, okay? Your sight like needs to be sharp. And I think this is the reason so many people prefer the yellow pap because when it's coagulating, you know, it's like you notice it faster than when you're making white pap, okay? So if you are st just starting, consider starting with a uh, yellow pap, okay? The, like the one made with yellow or colored maize, right? Yes, guys. So those are the two methods I said to share with us. The third one is the one that you add your sugar and then make the pap, which is like the pro, the pro method. Yeah, but for the purpose of this lecture, we'll be skipping that out. Okay. Yeah. So let me know in the comment section if uh, 
this answered your question or it makes you feel com more comfortable now to make your own uh, pop okay yeah so those are the two the two methods and you can see they are both uh, bubbling and uh, bouncing okay another thing is that when you apply all these precautions and your pop still came out uh, uh, watery what you can do is get a, 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 a get a pot or a fry pan okay pour in some water and put on your stove allow it to come to a boil drop the plate of your pap into the uh, the steaming water and just continue stirring like this until it comes uh, thick enough okay yeah for me i like my pap a little bit uh, light so what i do I make it thick like I just did now and then I go back with my milk or just add even if I'm using powdered milk I add the powdered milk and I still go in and pour some a little bit of hot water on top you know just to lighten it up for me okay so but if you're a big fan of very thick pap like this then you can set it on the stove and uh, on a stove like in a boiling water in a pot and then just turn it turn it turn it until it thickens up so with this my people we have come to the end of today's video i hope i answered your questions and i hope from now on you'll be comfortable enough to make your own pap thank you so much for hanging out with me do look out for my next video where i'll be giving us a full week's menu like what cooking for a whole week is like in my house like real life situations no paintings okay stay tuned and god bless you have a beautiful day bye bye